In this video, we're going to solve a uniform motion problem. Victoria left Denver at 12.30 to drive to Burlington, a distance of 225 miles. The traffic was heavy until 1.42. She drove the rest of the way in very light traffic and arrived at 4.42. Her speed in heavy traffic was 40 miles per hour slower than her speed in light traffic. We want to find her speed in both traffics. So let's talk about kind of what does this mean? So what I like to do is I like to start with just a little picture. So I have a starting point in Denver and an ending point in Burlington. And we're going to travel from one to the other. So I'm gonna just connect them with a little line. And I know that I have just normal, heavy, horrible traffic at the start. And so I'll be driving in traffic, or Victoria will be driving in traffic um, for this first part here. Now, we don't know exactly how long it is until we look at the times. So heavy traffic over here and light traffic over here. We start driving at 12.30 and we're in heavy traffic until 1.42. So we want to look at that as, first of all, how much time has passed. Well, 12 to 1 is 1 hour, and 30 to 42 is 12 minutes. So we're in heavy traffic for 1 hour and 12 minutes. We do want to think of this more as a decimal for hours. So think of it as 1 hour plus 12 minutes out of 60 minutes in an hour. I know that feels a little weird, um, but because we're trying to really turn the 12 minutes into an hour, we divide by the 60 minutes that happen in an hour. This ends up coming out to be 1.2 hours. So we're going to actually write 1.2 hours here instead of the 1 hour 12 minutes, a lot easier to work with. Now, we also know that we were in light traffic until 442. So from 142 to 442, um, thankfully that's actually a lot easier. That is three hours in the light traffic. The final thing is, is that we know the speed in heavy traffic was 40 miles per hour slower than the speed in light traffic. So let's say that we call the speed where uh, Victoria is driving in the light traffic R. Then the speed in the heavy traffic is going to be R minus 40 because we are slower by 40 miles per hour. So let's say we are going to want to actually find this situation, right? So our heavy traffic distance plus our light traffic distance has to equal the total distance traveled, which was 225 miles, because they told us that in the question right there. And we know the equation for distance, the general equation is distance equals rate times time. So for heavy traffic, our rate is R minus 40, and our time was 1.2 hours. For our light traffic, we called our rate just plain old R, and the time was three hours. So we can replace the H and the L in our equations with these values. So now we have an equation in terms of just R, our speed, our rate in the light traffic, and we're gonna be able to solve this for the R. To do that, let's start by distributing this 1.2 into the parentheses. That gives us 1.2R minus 48 plus R times three is the same thing as three R equals 225. Now we can combine like terms. 1.2R plus three R is 4.2R minus 48 equals 225. When we add 48 to both sides, we now have 4.2R is equal to 270 
3. Our final step to solve for the rate, r, is to divide both sides by 4.2. When we do that, we get that the r value is 65 miles per hour. So that's how fast we are going in the light traffic. How fast are we going in the heavy traffic? Well, in heavy traffic, we're going to subtract 40 because we're 40 miles per hour slower. So 65 minus 40 is 20 miles per hour. So those are our speeds in both types of traffic.